Hello? What's happening? Why are all these words in my face? Am I blind? Hello? Hey, a fan. You're awake. How about that? Who's there? Whoa, easy there. Easy. Santa Claus? You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bear. Let's see what the damage is. Ah, uh, that's name? my doctor. Can you tell me your name? I am Caboose. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left it. Yeah, I think uh, I think Sarge must have slipped with a shotgun. How'd I do? Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Yeah, it is daytime, Let's so it is no longer enough get time. You on your feet. Ow, my neck. Good. I don't know why that happened. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take I it see slow buttons. now. It ain't a race. Okay, Santa. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Touch. Did I wait? Yeah, I think I won. Sorry, son. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. I guess I missed a spot. Oh, no, well, it's always been like your that. Your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in the bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay, Doctor. Hey. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Train. House. Shelter. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Vaporize. Light. Beam. Mother. Coke jar. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Agreed. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I would disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Hmm. I guess that's true. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I would agree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say <clears throat> you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see a two-headed ant. Okay. How about this one? Space Age technology. Last one. Those are clearly teddy bear sci fi feet. I'm going to say a mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Hmm. I am very sneaky. Yeah, I think I am good with guns. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. 
I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Ah. Just a formality. Don't look too Ain't deep like into it. I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh, all that time. And uh, let me see here. Hmm, this one looks about right. This one looks really good. I can be sneaky. Done. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. Was all that on you when you was brought in. Oh. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Oh, that be true. It was just something about a platinum chip. A chip. Well, if you're There's heading back out chip. there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We oh. all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Yeah, and I hate put when this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thank you for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help she you learn like to fend for person. yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, if you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No promises. Well, I am off to adventure!